What Harrison demonstrated yesterday, you know, tough at bat, two strikes, battled, um, demonstrated today, you know, he makes adjustments. That's what we always ask all our players to do, especially important for a younger player. Um, but outstanding job on his part, you know, to just to have a good approach, stay with it, just take what the game gives you. Was the stolen base called from the dugout or was that him picking up on Davis? A uh, combination. I mean, we have a, we have some good communication going on right now. Did you see any lack of confidence in him after striking out three times in those situations? I don't, I've never seen a lack of confidence in Harrison Bader. Mm -hmm. It's one thing I always appreciated when he got to AAA is here's a guy that, um, it was a trait that you, it's really hard to teach. He's got, um, Joe Torre already said it about Derek Jeter. I'm not comparing the players. I'm just making the analogy. I don't compare players, but he's got inner conceit. You know, he believes in himself, and um, that's, a, that's a great trait. And Harrison has always confidently played knowing he's got ability. And um, when you struggle, and we, we talk about that too, remember you've got the ability. But Harrison is a, Harrison's a good player. Were strikeouts all on sliders for him? Uh, I believe so. I can't say that completely. You might have a better idea it looked like it. Tyler O'Neill had his fingerprints all over this game. I guess we'll start with his defense and the two catches he made as good as you've seen. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a heck of a play. He saw some really, really good defense on both sides of the baseball um, today. And you know, that's a lights out couple of plays this young man's made and, you know, saved, saved some outs and potentially some runs. So um, great job there. You know, the sack fly, great at bat there as well. And um, just playing the game, playing the game right. You know, a lot of skill sets. Does his approach look different this time around than it has when he's been called up before? I mean, we, we often see the, the all or nothing kind of power from him. I, I think after, you know, it's his third time, right? So I think the second time up, you start to see a more consistent approach and a little better understanding of game plan. I think he even maybe mentioned that. Um, so I think he's just kind of building off of what that looks like. I think he's, he's had a good plan for some period of time now. How difficult for a guy like Greg Garcia, his role, to then come through like he did in the ninth inning? Great job by Greg Garcia. I mean, that's just a, a professional bat. That's what Greg Garcia does. He does the little things. And one thing, you know, I got that inning started. You know, Arenado makes a, a really difficult play look somewhat routine, I guess, with Munoz to start the inning off. And then Greg works the count a little bit and just has a nice approach. And he started that inning off. You think about that ninth inning, you got a guy that's been a pretty good closer, obviously, for those guys. And good approach. You know, base hit the other way. Bader, base hit the other way. Martinez. You know, ball, drives the ball in the gap the other way. So, but Greg Garcia is a professional player, a winning player, always has been. As much as you had to use the bullpen this week, and then obviously you needed Miles today. How much was how important was it that he had that, that many innings and had that good a start today? That was huge. That was huge. You know, we had some limitations in the bullpen today, and you know, he's a guy that's been our All-Star performer this year, and took the ball on a, on a you know not a blistering hot day, but took a you know warmer day and went out competed well, and I thought he actually. You know, the, the two runs, I mean, the one, you know, kind of a little bit of his own making, but trying to make a play. Always want guys to try to make plays, but, um, you know, he's on the bases, so no excuse for that, but on the bases before that inning, comes back out, but holds him at two, gets through it, and was getting better as the game went, and, you know, got us through seven with a little bit shorter pin, so tremendous job by Miles. When he takes off from second to third in that wild pitch to be in a position to score there, I mean, are you surprised to see him get busting like that when that ball gets away? I, I would hope not. You know, I would, um, you know, we're encouraging these guys to be athletes, and clearly, you know, the pitchers, we don't push as hard, but we do expect them to play the game. And, you know, our base coaches, uh, Marmol and, you know, Cheo do a good job of Kendo over third, keeping those guys engaged appropriately to be ready to, to you know see something that's there so really heads up play got us a run um helped him helped us what does it say about jose you know not getting as much playing time as he had earlier this season to come through in a spot like that against davis uh it says he's a you know just a, i mean for me it's i mean it's a great teammate right i mean that's probably one of the best compliments i can give jose's um you know he's still getting opportunities he's not getting quite as many um, but he's, he's determined to make the most of them, and he showed up ready to take a, a really quality at bat and with a nice plan, and, you know, I think he feels pretty good about it. Stolen base with the young that got reviewed and changed. Were you close to going out to discuss that situation with Joe West, or do they offer a discussion to you on that, or an explanation, rather? Yeah, I don't think I'm going out and talking to Joe. <laughs> I mean, I think he'd tell me just to, you know, hey, got you, buddy. <laughs> um, but, um, and he may not, but there's no point really in it. I mean, I was um, in the fall league at the conception in 2013 when they started replaying the Arizona fall league and 
went through that process. So pretty familiar with it. Um, you know, it's morphed over the time, but you know, once they go to a crew, you know, crew chief challenge, no different than earlier. He, he made the decision, they overturned it, um, and it wouldn't be with Joe anyway. I, mean, I can't, you know, call New York, um, nor would I try. Is that one though, that you kind of file away that, I mean, Colorado's out of challenges, so do you kind of feel like maybe that's one that they'll owe you down the line if you're out of challenges that they should maybe consider a play? Yeah, I think, I think you know, look, they've got, they do a great job, and I think they're just trying to get it right. And, um, you know, we trust that they got it right in that occasion. It's, you know, it's um, clearly a play we like to have had in a different scenario with a guy that's, that's safe. But, you know, we had some of those overslides the whole series, a couple went our way or however you want to look at that. So, um yeah, I mean, I think it'll just, you know, it all evens out. and Just go down the road and play the game.